Hey guys, my name is Sirika Birch and I'm the artist at Currency Studios. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you so, so much to each and every one of you who has supported the Valentine's Day Pay My Number kit in any way, shape or form. Whether it be purchasing the kit, actually liking and sharing the post on Instagram, whatever you have done to support it has been amazing and I'm very appreciative of each and every one of you. It's my aim to make this Valentine's Day as special as I possibly can, for as many people as I possibly can. And honestly, if I can even make that come true for one person, then I'm happy and my goal is complete. But for today, we are actually going to be going through an instructional video where I'm going to show you how to complete these Valentine's Day paper number games. So without further ado, Let's grab some wine, grab some snacks, grab a picnic blanket, whatever you need, and let's get into it. So, here you have everything that you're going to need to complete your Valentine's Day paint by number kit. You have a pre-sketched canvas which has numbers which match the numbers on the colored paints you have. You also have, well I would like you to go get if you don't have one, a piece of tissue handy as well as some paint brushes and a cup of water. You want this cup to be disposable as you're not going to be able to drink out of it again. In your kit, you have two canvases, just like this, but I'm going to be working on one half today. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open each and every one of your paints, but you're going to want to do this very carefully. This is your container and I want you to very slowly and very carefully away from your canvas because I'm just doing this. As a little risky thing very slowly and carefully pry each of the colors open what we're going to do is start filling in one by one each of these little slots with the color matching the number on the paint so I'm actually going to start with the first color over here number one because not only is it number one but it's also the lightest color it's also just easier to go in order color by color because this minimizes the amount of cleaning that you'll have to do on your brush. So now I'm going to begin painting and what I'm going to grab is the flat brush which is this brush right here. I'm grabbing this one because this area here is pretty large. So to cover it a little bit faster we're just going to use the flat brush. So I'm going to start by dipping in to the lightest color. As you can see I've coated my brush and we're going to go over this part of the canvas. Now one thing to note is that with the lighter colors you may have to go over the dark numbers one or two times. So you would want to let this first layer dry and then go over it again. So I'm trying to cover this one with the yellow and because it's such a light color, it's barely doing the job. If you get to a point like this and it's kind of hard for you, you can switch to the smaller brush and cover these smaller areas. You want to go just on the line so that it doesn't show through too too much in the final painting. As you can see I'm spreading the colors as thinly as I possibly can just to cover as much surface area with as little paint as possible. So that if I need to go over and do any more layers, that it is completely possible. So I'm just cleaning my big brush, my flat brush. You just rinse it in the water. You can get rid of some of the excess water and then to completely dry it, just dab it on the tissue. Just like that. If you really, really want to, you can take hold the tissue and just swipe it. But try not to aggressively um, scruff it up on the tissue because that can damage the brush. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let this layer dry and then I'm going to cover it again with um, another coat of yellow. What you can do if you want to is you can move on to the next color 
or you can sit chat you know take a sip of wine <laughs> eat some chocolate do something in the meantime it takes maybe like a minute to dry completely or at least enough that you can add another coat and what you do want to do is if you're waiting for something to dry you want to make sure that your brushes are clean i don't have any paint on them while this is drying i should point out that it is actually very important to cover the sides of your canvas this will give it a nice complete finished look as you can see at the very corner this line continues down so what you're going to want to do is as you're painting remember to fill in these side gaps it's just on this one side for your canvas and then the rest of it will be in the color 10. my yellow should be dry i will go ahead and add another layer As you can see, I filled in number three. I will go over and do another layer on that later, but there are some other slots where there is a number three. And at this point, I'd like to make a little note that if you can't see the numbers clearly, included in the resources kit is a numbers map. So if at any point you feel like you can't see quite clearly, you can go ahead, pull out that map and look at it. At this point, I'm just going to continue going through color by color, number by number, and fill in each of the slots on the canvas. We're at the home stretch and it's starting to come together. So, as you can see, this color right here is number 10, and number 10 is also on the outside. So that is the largest color that there is. For that reason, I'm actually going to skip number 10 this time, go to number 11 and 12, fill those in, and come back to number 10 last, just so that we get the final reveal at the end. I am actually going to go ahead, fill in this little number 10 with my smaller brush, and then I'm gonna switch over to my bigger flat brush in order to cover more surface area with the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in number 10 by the trees. So now I've got number 10 on my brush and I'm going to go over this huge surface area. What I'm going to do is go in the shape of the heart on the outside because if I decide to leave rough brush strokes, I want it to look natural. Here we go, following the curve of the heart. And at this point, if it becomes a little bit difficult to spread the paint, you just want to take a big blob, get some water, not too much, barely dip the brush in it, and then you just spread it over the canvas. And this helps the paint to glide smoothly over the surface. Now you can see what I mean by a rough texture. If I decide that I don't want to do another coat and I want to just leave it with this texture, then I want it to look natural. I don't want it to be up, down, all across, everywhere. Like I said, you can either choose to leave this rocky texture or you can go over it one more time. Um, I'm just gonna half kind of sort of go over it and then I'll finish up the edges and show you guys the final product. And with that, we've completed our Valentine's Day paint by number kit. Isn't it pretty? This is the final outcome and I'm really, really proud of how it turned out. Honestly, I am really excited to share this with you guys and I hope and I'm begging you and I'm asking you nicely, please send your finished results. Whether it's on WhatsApp, on Instagram, send it by pigeon if you have to, email me, I don't know. Mail it to my front door, except you don't have my address but I want to see your final results. I'm really, really proud of how this came out. I'm so glad that I got to help you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day this year. And I'm glad that Carencia got to be a part of that. Um, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed painting together. And yeah, that's about it from me. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe is something I would say, but I'm not a real YouTube channel, so have a good day. <laughs>